Hey there, ever thought about the classic 1940 movie, The Mummy's Hand? Well, get ready because we've got a lot of funny, shocking, and even sad facts coming your way. The film may be old, but it's packed with moments that'll keep you glued to your screen. Now, let's talk about that gripping scene or moment that stuck with you long after the credits rolled. Was there something about the movie that left a lasting impression on you? Maybe it was the suspenseful chase through the desert or the eerie atmosphere of the ancient tomb? And here's a fun one do you know any lesser known facts or stories about this movie that fascinate you? The behind the scenes tales can sometimes be as interesting as the movie itself. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you. What's your most loved memory or personal experience related to this classic movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Keep watching for more fascinating tidbits about the movie and don't forget to share your thoughts. Happy watching! The Mummy's Hand is a famous movie from 1940. It's set in Egypt, where archaeologists find treasure and wake up an old mummy named Karis who wants revenge. The story follows the mummy chasing those who disturbed his tomb. The main characters are Steve Banning, Babe Hansen, and Dr. Pitry, who have dangerous encounters with the mummy. Even though it's old, The Mummy's Hand is still loved by horror fans for its suspenseful feel and scary monster. It got praised for its cool effects and has had a big influence on movies. In 1940, The Mummy's Hand was released. In the film, a contract signed by Tim Sullivan, also known as the magician Silvani, is dated 12 May 1940. The actor in the movie, Boris Karloff, said he had back surgeries after Frankenstein. However, despite appearing shirtless in other movies like The Black Cat and The Lost Patrol, no scars were visible. Karloff got a big role in the criminal code when he faced money problems. Unable to pay his dues at the Maskers Club, he turned to actors' equity, leading to casting opportunities for him. These details show the challenges actors faced during that time, giving insight into Karloff's pragmatic decisions to keep his career going. In summary, The Mummy's Hand is a significant film from 1940, illustrating the practicalities and obstacles actors like Karloff encountered in early Hollywood. In The Mummy's Hand, makeup artist Jack P. Pierce used a meticulous technique, applying cotton strips to Tom Tyler's face for close-up shots, while Tyler wore a rubber mask for long shots. The filming commenced in late May-June and was released on September 20. Dick Foran's character, an adventurous archaeologist fascinated with ancient artifacts, partly inspired the creation of Indiana Jones. The Mummy's Hand remains a significant piece of cinematic history. In Mark of the Werewolf, novelist Jeffrey Sackett features a character named William Henry Pratt, fitting Karloff perfectly. The excavation scenes were filmed on the Universal back lot in a rocky, desert-like section known as Gaussman's Gulch, named after Russell A. Gaussman, set decorator on this film. It was enhanced with artificial rock faces and boulders to give it a canyon-like appearance. During the production of Frankenstein, there was concern that seven-year-old Marilyn Harris, who played Maria, would be frightened by Karloff in costume. However, she ran up to him, took his hand, and asked to ride with him to the location. Delighted, Karloff responded positively, and she rode with him to the set. The Mummy's Hand, released in 1940, revitalized Universal's Mummy franchise, dormant since 1932's The Mummy. Made with a modest budget of $84,000, the film's success led to three sequels, The Mummy's Tomb, The Mummy's Curse, and The Mummy's Ghost. To transform for his role in The Haunted Strangler, the actor removed his false teeth. In 1956, he appeared on the $64,000 question, winning $32,000 in the category of children's fairy tales before leaving due to tax considerations. In 1940, The Mummy's Hand became a hit movie, gripping audiences with its spooky story. Boris Karloff, famous for his unforgettable role in this film, got married to Evelyn Hope Helmore after splitting up with Dorothy Stein, his second-to-last wife. Throughout his great career, he acted alongside Bela Lugosi in eight amazing films like The Black Cat and Son of Frankenstein. Notably, there's a cool tribute to Karloff in Men in Black 3, where the bad guy has his name, thanks to Rick Baker, a big fan of his work. This story mixes together movies, love, and honor for the talents on the big screen. The Mummy's Hand, released in 1940, holds significance beyond its cinematic achievements. Inside St. Paul's Church in Covent Garden, London, a plaque commemorates one of its actors. Despite portraying John Hubbard's father in The Mummy's Tomb, he was only four years older than Hubbard. Interestingly, he was initially slated to portray Larry Talbot in The Wolfman, 
but was replaced by Lon Chaney Jr. before filming commenced. Such behind-the-scenes anecdotes add layers to the film's legacy, making it a notable piece of Hollywood history. The 1940 movie The Mummy's Hand is a timeless gem in cinema history. It features a talented cast of actors who have made significant contributions to the film industry. One notable actor in the movie is Boris Karloff, known for his roles in many well-known films. Karloff had an apartment in New York's The Dakota Building, which added to his glamorous image. Throughout his career, Karloff appeared in four films recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural importance. These movies, including The Last of the Mohicans, Frankenstein, Scarface, and Bride of Frankenstein, showcase his versatility as an actor. The Mummy's Hand made its television debut on January 2, 1958, airing on New York's Channel 7, WABC. This was a significant moment for the film as it reached a wider audience through television. Overall, The Mummy's Hand continues to captivate viewers with its talented cast and timeless appeal. It remains a classic in cinematic history. In a stamp issued in 2003, a photo of Karloff in his Frankenstein makeup honors makeup artists Jack P. Pierce and an assistant. Additionally, a photo of him keeping wicket while C. Aubrey Smith batted was displayed at Lord's Cricket Ground in 2004 to celebrate Sussex winning the county championship for the first time, as Smith had been a captain of Sussex CCC. The lead actress in the film moved to New York City with her family at the age of seven. She appeared in high school plays and had roles in touring productions of Pierre Gint, The Devil's Disciple, and He Who Gets Slapped. Her Broadway debut was in 1924 in the Theatre Guild's production of Man and the Masses. The Mummy's Hand is a notable film recognized for its cultural and historical significance. It's part of a collection of four movies acknowledged by the Library of Congress for their impact freaks, employees' entrance, the informer, and shadow of a doubt. Tom Tyler, who portrayed the mummy, had his eyes and mouth blacked out frame by frame in close-up shots to enhance the character's terror. Tyler, known for his role, met his future wife, Martha Hayworth, during a play in New York where they both acted. They later married after about a year. The Mummy's Hand stands as a classic example of early horror cinema with its innovative techniques and memorable performances. The Mummy's Hand, released in 1940, is a classic horror film renowned for its chilling portrayal of the titular character. The actor who brought the mummy to life, known as Boris Karloff, gained fame not only for this role, but also for his dramatic talent, earning a Tony Award nomination in 1956 for his performance in The Lark. Despite claims that Karloff was a family name, research suggests that he adopted it from a character in a book, The Man on the Box, published in 1904. Interestingly, this character, Count Karloff, seemed to foreshadow the actor's spooky future. Karloff's versatility is evident in his portrayal of the evil title role in The Mask of Fu Manchu, where he even wore a woman's wedding dress. His daughter, Sarah, clarified that there were no Slavic or Russian roots in their family tree, dispelling the myth of a Karloff ancestor.